It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. He looked me straight in the eye, Alfred. He's been our friend a long time. He deserves to know. I understand that, Bruce. He's still too close for comfort. I'm sorry, but he is. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a launch signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us, looking out for each other. Now it's two. We can't indulge in despair, Alfred. We simply don't have time for it. Yes, you're right, of course, Bruce. I'm sorry. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, this war of ours is taking its toll. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop he plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's saying them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. He's hacked their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. And he can broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. Of course you can. Let's get this over with. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Ugh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? 
We really made a difference, didn't we? That man? Uh, I, uh, I, I, I shouldn't have watched this. I'll, uh, I'll go get that tea, Master Bruce. All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. And then match up the points found in both sound files. Batman? Dwayne? No. The two sounds have to be the same. Tiffany. The disabled. Riddler. Riddler. Bruce. Tiffany. Nope. Now the sounds have to match for this to work. Dwayne. Batman. No. I have to highlight the same sound in both files. Tiffany. Tiffany. That's a match. Forms match. There. I've piggybacked on a Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating the launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. You believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. On the other hand, Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it.
I'll meet with Mori. I'm sure Bruce Wayne can find a way to reason with him. Waller's people are here, watching Mori. Riddler's agency data should make him easy to tag. I need you to keep an eye on him for me. Maybe cause a distraction if I need it. They're following his every move. Gotta be careful here. All this attention must be annoying to a man like Mori. I see them. All of these agents were on Riddler's list. Even without access to their phones, he'll still try to kill them all somehow. Do whatever it takes to find him, Bruce. I never want to see another video like the one with Lucius. No time to waste. Mr. Wayne, to what do we owe this honor? Good evening, Mr. Mori. I've come to talk. Your visit is unexpected, Mr. Wayne. What can I do for you? A private matter between friends. We have a mutual enemy, Mori. He can't go unchecked. Men like you and I have many enemies, Mr. Wayne. I am sure we share more than one. You know the one I mean. The authorities are watching my every move. Apparently, I'm a person of interest. There's really not much I can offer you other than a drink and a seat at the roulette wheel. Not while I'm being shadowed. We need privacy. Lose the agents. Done. They just got an order to sweep the perimeter. Should give you a couple of minutes at least. Impressive, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface. What can I do for you? Information. About the Riddler. Why would I do that? You sold the Riddler weapons that killed one of my oldest friends. Lucius's blood is on your hands. That was never my intent. I'm sorry for your loss. There's an easy way to make up for it. <sighs> I dealt with that maniac. It's true. But I was done after the first delivery. Riddler wanted more. Everything he could get his hands on. He even wanted me to hand over one of my biotech companies. I said no. That's why he attacked you? You have no idea how crazy he is. I only wish I had known it sooner. Actually, I have a pretty good idea. I see that you do. He scared me. I was afraid he'd use my goods in the city. After the explosion at Wayne Enterprises, it turns out I was right. I want you to know, I had no idea the Riddler had marked you as a target. I knew your father, back when he was running Gotham. Our interests often aligned. I would never dishonor his memory. He was a friend, truly one of a kind. Mori, listen to me very carefully. I am more ruthless than my father ever was. The pup has a savage bark, and from the looks of it, the teeth to match. I can help you find the Riddler, Mr. Wayne. I sold him the missile array he's using to pick off his enemies. He won't be very far from it. Everything you need to find him is on that drive. But I need a favor from you first. 
a favor? Walla has me detained here pending Riddler's trial. She controls all my accounts. I need to get out of the country, and in all haste. You can help with that. Otherwise, I fear my fate is a short, miserable life in a black prison. Somewhere deeply unpleasant. I could do that for you. I knew I could count on your friendship. A chartered plane waits for me at the airport. The pilot will fly me to a safe haven in the Caribbean for the right price. All you have to do is authorize a transfer. You don't want me as an enemy, Mr. Wayne. Our agency friends will be back any second. Let's handle this quickly and without disturbance. Done. Send me a postcard from the beach. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. I owe you a great debt. If this ever comes to light, I'll keep your name out of it for as long as I can. Thank you. Be careful, Mr. Wayne. That lunatic is not to be trifled with. No, I suggest you make yourself scarce before our agency friends return. Alfred, I've sent you Maury's information. Find me Riddler's location, and fast. The Lady of Dublin. Which is? A cargo ship in Gotham Bay. Good. Send me the location. And let Gordon know. Tell him Batman's on the way. turned out to be accurate. Red, no sight of the missiles yet, though. No. They must be here somewhere. Then it's hard to blame individuals for institutions. Hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. Terrible decisions. Your agency has been on my heels far too long. I'll give it to you. A good spot for cover. I'll admit it's going to feel satisfying to get my revenge on your pieces. Even if you're really just a small part of my plan. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean soon, of course. They might be angry I brought you here, but... Wait for it. understand why they'll recognize my brilliance. <laughs> After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big picture. It's often a struggle <laughs> to make people see that. You think? Careful. I'm sure you can understand. I get it. Sometimes my methods can appear a little unorthodox. You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smarter than me. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. Let the hostages go, Riddler. 
You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! It's heating up! Thanks, Batman. Hi. Are you all right? is the shock device. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Maury was incapable of learning his lesson. I knew he'd lead you to me eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Mori. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. I heard a lot of people doing what I do. My code is how I stay human. <laughs> it's why I'm out here. And you're in there, about to meet your maker. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all. Ask your questions, Riddler. Let's get this over with. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd cooperate. But I don't think the agent next to you shares your enthusiasm. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her? I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer. Please say it. Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... <sighs> Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two, also completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. Or click, click, click! Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! Ha. Here's your prize! 
Oh my god. Iman! What have you done? Enough, Riddler. You made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. I'll fire one of the missiles. Use the bad cam to make it target the cage. And use a Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I am. What are you doing? Clever, don't you? You... you don't in... Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! God, I, I didn't think, I didn't think we were going to make it. I, I thought... You put yourself on the line for your friends. You saved them. Agent, are you okay? My ears, I can't hear.
It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Well, congratulations, Batman. You managed, even in my twisted game, to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Investus suffered, so no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. This entire twisted situation is your doing, Riddler. All blame is on you. And so are the consequences. You came after me, you know. Not the other way around. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. Set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. I look forward to meeting these friends of yours. They're next on my list. Good. They deserve it. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, god damn it. Oh, this isn't good, Batman. The investigation is a dead end without a breathing suspect. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble. I have no idea how we're getting out of it. I saved lives today, Jim. That's a victory. Now that counts for something, sure. But it's not enough to keep the gods at bay. Oh, Waller is gonna come down on us like a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. I'm about to blow both your asses off the side of this ship. This is a goddamn mess. Agent Avesta is deaf. Riddler is dead. And I don't know exactly how. But I know you tampered with my suspect at the casino. Unless you expect me to believe that Mori got out of Gotham all by himself. Batman is clearly being misused as an asset to the GCPD. I'm taking direct control of law enforcement in Gotham effective immediately. What? Gordon, you're being relieved of your stars. Bumped down to Deputy Ops. You can't demote me. I just did. Gordon's been fighting the good fight for years. You're delusional if you think you can solve all our problems. You're the ones who are deluded. You're so busy gazing into each other's eyes, you can't see the big picture. Take some vacation days, Gordon. I've got sensitive case details to discuss with Batman. We're still in this together, Batman. This doesn't change a thing. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. 
You've come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits the theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.